This is our first Java project video with NetBeans. To create Java project with NetBeans, click on File, New Project. You have three options. I choose Java with Maven, Java application, and click Next. In project name, write the name of the project, first project. We will keep the path as it is. In group ID, I wrote my domain name in first to ensure the uniqueness of the project in case I want to upload it into Maven repository. Now click on finish. It added by default the package, the group ID plus the name of the project. Inside the package, we have our main class, first project, the same name as the name of the project and the main method inside the main class. As we've seen in the JVM video, this is the first method called when we run a Java code. Inside the class, I can define methods, attributes, and even other classes. For example, I can define public string name equal first as an attribute for the first project class. I can also define another attribute, public type project. I used public access modifier, which means that name and type will be available from anywhere. I can declare another attribute of type int, for example, number equal one. Of course, you don't have to initialize these values. We can add another class for our project, presentation, for example. To do this, we will simply click on File, New File, select Java, then click on Java class. Click Next, and in Class Name, write Presentation. Now click on Finish. As you can see, it is defined inside the same package. We can add a public method to our class. We will call it present. Click void present. It is void because it doesn't return anything. But first we will test the call of that function. We will just write system dot out dot I am inside present to use present in our main method we will create an object also called an instance of the class presentation presentation pr equal new presentation we will delete the printing of the hello world message now to call present we will write PR dot present. We will click on the run project button to run the code. We can see that it printed the desired message. Now we want present to print the attributes of our class. To be able to access them from present without creating an instance of first project, we are going to set these attributes to static. Now we access them from present. For example, to print the name, we will write system.out.println first project dot name. We will do the same for the other attributes. Now we can run our code again. And it worked. In the next video, we'll talk more about the next statement. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.